Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our Go for Teal video series. Uh, today I want to ask a common question we get about recipe cards, uh, lists, and a little bit about Create uh, in general. So we have a lot of confusion around the fact, should I have multiple recipes in one post, and should I run a recipe along with a list in one post? This is very interesting because Google in the official schema kind of descriptions talks about how you can have multiple objects in one post. But in reality, if you actually run two recipes in one post and present those both to Google and Schema, and I'll talk about Schema in just a second, Google is going to get confused and they're not sure which recipe uh, to show. So real quick, what is Schema? So that's the behind the scenes markup. Uh, we use JSON-LD in Create. Um, there's also kind of the more old school formats that we no longer use, uh, that are no longer recommended by Google. Uh, and Schema basically is a way of telling uh, the search engine, how to easily parse what's in your recipe. These are the ingredients, these are the nutrition facts, these are the directions, etc. So schema is extremely important for SEO. Um, and the main reason is because it's going to allow your search result to get what's called kind of a rich snippet. Um, so you're going to get a picture of your recipe, possibly things like the number of calories, the prep time, the cook time. All that kind of stuff can get displayed in search results if you're properly marked up. It also gives you the ability on mobile to appear inside the recipe carousel at the top of search results. So it's kind of like a position zero only for recipes. So it's extremely important uh, for SEO reasons you're using a recipe card. And Create happens to be a great free one offered by Mediavine. Um, but there is an issue. Again, if you have multiple recipes appearing in a post, Google can get a little bit tripped up. But because it's a part of the official schema, Create is going to allow you to do that. So what can you do if you're running Create to make sure you only have one recipe appearing in your post. Um, so what you'll notice in Create is that you get the ability to assign a canonical post or the main post that a recipe should be featured in. So by default, it's gonna be kind of the first post you use that in, but if you wanna reuse a recipe multiple times, uh, you're gonna be able to choose which canonical post. And schema is only gonna be marked up if it's on that canonical post. Um, so let's give a real world example that we commonly see. So a lot of times, let's say a food blogger is going to want to talk about cupcakes, and they may want to separate the cupcake from the icing recipe. And the reason why is because they might reuse the icing recipe multiple times, or even the cupcake base part. Um, so here's the problem. If you're presenting that to Google, uh, and both of those are used for the first time in a post, and both have the same canonical, you're going to output them both. And you got to think of it from Google's perspective. They can only output one recipe to the user. How are they going to know which one to pick? And that's kind of why they get confused. Um, so what we would recommend doing, if you do want to split those up, uh, you should have a dedicated post to both the icing and to the base cupcake and have those as the two canonicals. Um, and then whichever post will naturally get the correct uh, rich snippets and the correct schema being marked up for Google. Um, but really best practice would be for that particular example, if you do want to have a reusable thing, that's fine. Um, but you want to present as much as you can to the user. So just put them both into one recipe card. Um, and really you can break them up with groups and create and most other recipe cards offer the same kind of thing. Um, and so unique to create are the ability to do lists or um, carousels as Google calls them. And that's if you have multiple recipes inside of a post, you group them all together and you say this is a list of them, which is awesome. Um, but that's again, not being used for this is, let's say again, going back to my old example, the cupcake base and the icing, this is for a list of multiple different cupcakes. So maybe this is my red velvet one, this is my, uh, I'm going to show my lack of knowledge of cupcakes here, carrot cake. I don't know. Whatever they may be, if you're going to have multiple uh, recipes in one post, uh, that's when you want to use a list item. But I want to make this very clear too. Lists will follow the exact same concept as uh, recipes in Create. So we're only going to output that schema if the list is being used in the canonical post. And the idea behind that is you should be using lists as the center um, of that post. So again, in that example of the 10 best cupcakes, that post should be about the 10 best cupcakes and then should use that list inside of it. We know a lot of people are using uh, create lists for all sorts of cool things, things like related posts and all that fun jazz. And then sometimes you'll end up running one alongside of a recipe. Again, you're going back to the same issue as before. Google isn't sure which thing to show to the user. So they might end up showing your list to your user. Um, so you might end up with 11 cupcakes being used in the main cupcake recipe you're trying to run. So again, you're trying to talk about red velvet, but they might show a carousel that might pull things like, again, I really need to come up with an example 
that I know better things for. But let's say your chocolate uh, cupcakes are suddenly gonna show up and it's really gonna confuse the user. You're gonna end up with the wrong thumbnail. They're possibly not gonna click on your post and they're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, so what we generally recommend is you really wanna focus on one schema type per post. Uh, Create is extremely flexible, lets you reuse things, and that's an awesome feature we love about it, um, but can also lead to trouble if you're not using SEO best practices. Uh, so hopefully this cleared up a little bit of confusion. I know this ended up being a, a little bit of a more complex topic uh, than a lot of our uh, single topic go for teals. Uh, so again, I'm gonna try to summarize this one more time. If you're running a recipe post, you wanna run one recipe schema. Uh, and again, just making sure if you're running create that you have that assigned as the canonical post. And if you're running a list item, you really wanna run one list item per post. Again, we're only gonna output one list per page uh, because that's part of the schema markup and we're only gonna do it if it's the canonical. So you wanna make sure that you're doing that uh, correctly for both types and don't combine them. Uh, hopefully that alleviates a lot of confusion around this topic. If you have any questions, please email into create at mediavine.com uh, and we'd love to help you out. Thank you guys and I will see you next week and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.